hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation that involves radical with cube roots and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution as well so let's go ahead and get started over here we want to isolate this cube root in order to do that one i want you to add this 8 on both sides isn't it so we're gonna have this thing is gone this negative and 8 so we ended up with cube root of x square plus 4 equals to positive 2 on the right hand side and one more thing just keep in your mind the cube root has an index 3 and if you are not sure what is an index, I just put down the body parts of a radical. And this is right here. The index is this part over here, the small three. Now we want to get rid of this cube root. In order to get a cube, uh, get rid of a cube root or undo the cube root, we must take the power three. And we're going to take the power three on this side as well. So this cube and this cube root, they undo each other. So we simply get x power 4, x power 2 plus 4 equal to 2 power 3 is same as you multiply 2 3 times. So one more thing, just keep in your mind that the cube root, when the index is 3, it could be written as an exponent one third a power one over three and when you take the power three on both sides so this ends up equal to an a and if you are not sure how we get it so here i put down the proof for your info so let's focus on this equation on the left hand side we want to get rid of get rid of this positive four so we're going to put negative four on both sides so this positive 4 and negative 4 cancels out so we simply got x square equals to 4 how we can get rid of this square how we can undo this square is taking the square root on both sides okay we're going to take the square root on both sides this square and square root they undo each other we got x equals to you must put down positive and negative and then the square root of 4 is and thus our solution set is negative 2 and positive 2. Now we want to check our answers for any extraneous solution. So one of our solution is x equal to 2. We're going to plug it in wherever you see x, replace it by 2. So that's going to simply become the cube root of 2 power 3, 2 power 2 rather, sorry plus 4 minus 8 question mark is it equal to negative 6 let's see what happens so 2 power 2 is 4 and then 4 isn't it okay and then you take the cube root and then minus 8 question mark is it equal to negative 6 we got the cube root of 8 minus 8 question mark is negative 6 so the cube root of 2 8 is 2 minus 8 is it question mark equal to negative six. and by the way I use this fact 2 power 3 equals to 8 you can look at it how I got the cube root of 8 equals to 2 so that's gonna give you a negative 6 is it equal question mark equal to negative 6 yes this is yes that's true since this statement is true so x equal to 2 is our solution and now finally we're going to check our other solution which is x equal to negative 2 so wherever you see x replace it by negative 2 so let's see what happens so the cube root of negative 2 power 2 plus 4 minus 8 the question mark is is it 
everything is equal to right hand side so negative 2 square is positive 4 plus 4 and then the cube root minus 8 is it equal to negative 6 so this become 8 cube root minus 8 equals to negative 6 so the cube root of 8 is 2 minus 8 equals to question mark negative 6 and here I use the fact how we got this cube root of 8 equals to 2 you can look at it on the right hand side so this uh, left hand side of this equation is negative 6 is it question mark is it equal to negative 6 on the right hand side yes this statement is true and thus x equal to negative 2 is our another solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos